Good afternoon, Bumi. How you doing? You well? Hello. Yes, I'm fine, thanks. And how are you? I'm blessed, always, in all ways. I'm grateful to uh, to be speaking to you today because you're involved in a, in a very special uh, event that's coming up this weekend. Uh, is it this weekend? It is this weekend, isn't it? Yes. It is this weekend. It is, it's isn't it? Yeah. I'm losing time and days and hours and minutes. I, I do so many things. Run Town, much anticipated live virtual musical experience. Talk to me about talk to me about how uh, talk to me about what it is first and foremost. I know I've got the notes in front of me. I've poured over it, um, but for those who might have been oblivious to what was coming, give well, them some insight. Hopefully, they know Run Town, who is a very important Afrobeats artist. Um, and this is his first full live global live global live stream event, and it's part of a new project project um, called Live Connections. So it's a it's a series of events. Um, it, in fact, it's a it's a series which is going to grow from live streams to uh, be a, a mixture of a mixture of factual and performance. Um, and, it's, and it's very much a, a community project. Uh, it's, it's a project which shows diversity both in front of the camera and behind the camera, which is why it's very important. It's very much a community project, right from the, from the, from the financing uh, to the people who are involved in it, to, to run town, the people behind it, everyone really along the value chain um, in, in some way. Uh, there's a there, there's a connection to diversity and we and that's the way we've done it we've tried to make it a, a project that starts off um being fully representative and fully inclusive uh because there is a lack of diversity and inclusion both in front and behind the camera uh, which is what we are trying to change uh, by showing everybody there and making showing that visibility and making people realize that what is possible. I know this is um you're working in connection with uh, Meji Alabi, which is uh, which is amazing. We'll get onto what it was like to work with him. But in terms of yourself, for me, for those who are not au fait with your walk and, and level of firebrand activism, talk a little bit yes. about who you are and, and what okay. brings you in amalgamation with this. Well, many, many moons ago, <laughs> more than I will admit, <laughs> uh, I actually worked for The Voice, so that, that, which might be a surprise to you. I don't know whether you knew full that. Full circle, full <laughs> circle. I didn't, I didn't know that, actually. I know most of the alumni, but I didn't know about you. Apologies. Yes, I think <laughs> a lot of people have worked for The Voice. Uh, so, you know, we, we all come through that. We all come through the, that uh, kind of... Conduit. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. totally. Conduit. Yeah. So, um, and, um, and since then I've been working, I, I'm, I'm, while I was at The Voice, I moved to The Voice, I started working in TV, um, so I, I became a presenter, etc. cetera. Um, and through that experience, it was very obvious that there was a lack of diversity and, and any idea that myself and, and, and other people I knew had um, for TV, um, it was it was always difficult to, to get it across because you were always being told it was too niche um, for a broad audience. So um, and even working in in for music projects, even though you're work, if, working with I, I, and I have worked um, for quite a lot of music production companies mm -hmm. on some fairly major events. Um, and I've worked in, in both the production and the distribution elements. So I've been speaking with, I've spoken with a lot of broadcasters kind of globally, really. And it was always a bit of a surprise to me that uh, they always seemed to have a, a, a resistance to music that wasn't kind of rock uh, and very mainstream or the biggest artist in the world. There was always this gap in between of artists that had a global, a global footprint and huge followings in 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 places like Africa, uh, but there wasn't they you, you didn't see them on mainstream TV. So um, I started working um, with um, well, actually let's let's go roll back a little bit before and say that in terms of activism, I've um, I've been I, I've started a group with uh, two other people, Nick Smith and uh, and and uh, David. Uh, oh, God, God, David, he's going to kill me if I forgot his surname. 
<laughs> You'll come back to me in a minute. Anyway, so um, so I started <laughs> this group called Diversify TV, uh, which is all about um, making sure that that we were more represented in the TV industry. Uh, we, this this we the people who are involved. We're regularly at uh, MIP TV, which is a main TV event in which is held in Cannes every year. Um, and we and we noticed, uh, frankly, that there just weren't very many black faces. And um, mm. and so it was David Cornwall. <laughs> I remember his name. Thank you. Sorry, David, if you're listening to this. Uh, just a little moment of blank. Um, so David Cornwall actually started Diversify TV. He asked, and then he got Nick and I to join. Uh, and we decided to try and um, to find everybody and to bring us all together and work and, and try and, um, and, and start something, start something um, globally because there's a power in numbers. So if you've got a group of people, uh, a wider group of people, then um, you can move, you, you, can, you can do more. So we started this uh, it, to cut a long story short, we met a lot of people. We, we met lots of people globally. We, um, we started the Diversify TV, got, uh, became part of the MIP TV calendar. So we knew that we were making an actual impact mm. uh, because we started, they started to have full diversity in, in, um, and inclusion uh, activities. And we started the Diversify TV Excellence Awards which recognized um, uh, underrepresented um, program filmmakers. From this, I started working with um, Impact X, which is uh, they're a group of venture capitalists who are very interested in, um, in, in working with underrepresented entrepreneurs who have ideas, who have big ideas that they think uh, may move things on and, and become sustainable. And the idea was to start live connections um, to find artists like Runtown, who are great artists with huge followings. He's got, I think, over three million, for instance, um, followers on on um, Instagram alone, uh, which is bigger than most uh, artists here, actually. <laughs> but uh, he's, you still don't see him in on kind of in. You certainly don't see him in, main, uh, in UK TV. Or, or and and perhaps a little not as much as he should be in the US, even though I know he has toured there. Uh, so the idea uh, the idea of, came to work with Runtown um, and and to work with Meji um, and to join our forces because you know the whole notion of being stronger um, uh, if you work stronger and better if you work together. Um, that is how this whole really this whole movement and I and I and I call it a movement because it, it is a, a movement rather than just a, just a show <laughs> it's, a, it's a movement to try and make sure that we get more represent, representation um, and that we have more and that people are empowered and inspired to do more so that's so that's to, how I got to here so talk about um because it must be a very different world, I guess, working with Meji um, at, at close quarters. To so talk about how that's impacted on you and, and maybe give us a sneak kind of understanding of what we can expect from this show. Because obviously he's worked with Beyonce as a music director. So that's the, you know, the big credit. It's the biggest credit. Um, <laughs> so that's, that's as much endorsement as he, as he needs. He doesn't need anything from anybody else, really. But um, I can imagine this is something that he, he wants to deliver on and, and to deliver on well. Absolutely he does, yes. So, you know, as, as you've seen Meji's work and you know that he's a fantastic creative um, and his ideas and his visuals elevate everything he does, uh, which is obviously why um, Beyonce wanted to work, uh, work with him and why every Afrobeats artist um, has, has worked with him. Um, yeah, I know he's he's worked with Burnable, he's worked with Wizkid, mm. he's worked with Runtown. So yeah. and Runtown is excited to work with him again. Um, so what we what you can expect is the usual Meji, um, the the usual Meji aesthetic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the aesthetic, which which means it always has a little bit of Africa in it, mm -hmm. uh, or quite a lot of Africa, I'd say. 
uh, but good. also it's kind of a mix it's kind of a the mixture of africa and the western world um and uh and so you'll you'll see great styling you'll see great visuals you'll see a fantastic uh set design um and you'll see a, a brilliant uh, a brilliantly staged show with choreography um but beyond that you'll also see there, there'll be a side there's a, also going to be an element of, of a, a pre-show where you'll see you'll get to see more of what goes on behind the scenes uh, who the people are behind it what we're trying to do with the whole life with live connections um and in seeing those people that's the element that you'll see, which, which is about uh, more to do with representation. And that's something that Meji also does very well. And that mm. he, he believes in, he believes in very, in very much. So we're all really on the same page. Um, and I think I said before that this is a series. This is the first one mm. of Meji and Meji's going to be um, involved in all of them. Well, this, so, that, that leads me on to my next question really, because I, I want to know, um, you know, your own aspirations for Life Connections. You've mentioned the VCs that, you know, have big ambitions and, and want to be involved in projects that move the needle. So what are your own personal projections on where Life Connections can, can end up? I think Life, Life, Life Connections is going to end up um, as, a, as a TV series. Um, and we've already started some discussions. So I, I think it's going to pretty much definitely be a TV series. <laughs> Well, in the UK or um, globally, um, you know, let's say let's say a global TV street series. Well, Netflix. So that, so I, Netflix. Think, I think UK is in the in, in the world, so for sure. Uh, sometimes, sometimes, <laughs> yeah, yeah, sometimes, sometimes, it, sometimes it's so, not. Sometimes it's a world of its own, you know. Yeah. Um, well, that's exciting that you're already in yeah. discussions with with some of those people. Is that is that for you ahead of schedule, or are you bang on target in terms of where you want it to be? I think we're pretty much on target. You know, we've obviously things have slowed down um, at the very beginning because of COVID. It's been a it's been a logistical nightmare to get everything organised. Mm. But we're but we're now finally um, well. Ask, actually, ask me on Sunday. You know, but we we seem to finally be be on, on path to getting where we need where we need to be. And I think with this, what we've created is also a format. Uh, and we can go in lots of different directions. It's something which can help the live events industry. Um, live events industry is, is one of the many industries suffering. Um, and it's a format that complements what's going on in the live, um, in the live live, in the real world out there going, <laughs> where, where you actually have an audience. It can complement what's going on there because it, it's something, it's the virtual side of it is something which can be, as you know, it can be a little bit more creative. Um, you and uh, especially if you've got a, a visionary like Meji working with you. Well, I'm wishing you all the best. Um, it's the 25th of April. Where can people Where can people find it? That's that's very important. Yes, so let them let them know. Absolutely is yes. If they go to um, www.venuelive.com, Dot com and that's venue spelt v e n e w live.com they can buy tickets there um, and if they want to find more about live connections they can go to www.liveconnections.tv and, okay. uh, and I, I hope that they will that you that everyone will go there buy tickets and and support us because if if we all continue to work together um, to build on events like this then we can help a lot of people and we can build we can build something which is sustainable uh, and involve a lot more people out there well if 10 percent of the three million people follow him uh and tune in that follow him and tune in then it's, it's it's already an overriding success but let's hope for the whole three million and ten times that if we can um yes. is there anything else you want to leave us with before we go yeah, I, I just, uh, I don't know, um, I know I was just thinking of one thing which is just interesting, which is mm. just that um, uh, you were just saying three million of three million people and a, a lot of those are of course based in Nigeria where yeah. mm -hmm. um, it's just, it was interesting actually putting this together because there have been a lot of challenges and one thing that we discovered as we went along is that uh, it's not always easy for people in Africa to have access to these kind of events. 
um, this logis there were logistical things that we had to sort out. Um, we had to get, we, we had to work with a, a platform and we actually had to build an entire payment gateway to allow people from Africa to pay, which is interesting that it, that wasn't possible for most online events generally. So um, I, I, I do hope that, um, <laughs> I think that was interesting and, and I hope people really- oh, That is that. interesting. That is yeah. very interesting, given yeah. the amount of remittance companies and organizations that yeah. invest their, their yeah. time in banking and, and, and that, that, that sounds strange to be honest with you. It is strange. I mean, maybe it's not, maybe it's only for online events. I, I don't know if that's true generally, but hmm. from what I understand, a lot of major companies have had, let's say, resistance uh, to, to uh, right. building those kind of platforms. So uh, I, I, I found that very interesting. It's been quite an interesting journey. And I think when we start uh, behind the scenes, there's going to be some interesting things, uh, interesting things to say um, and interesting reasons for, for these, the, the way that things have developed. Sounds like you're pushing a needle already for me. That's me. <laughs> well, listen, like I said before, um, all the best with it. Um, we'll definitely be talking after the event to kind of have like a debrief, even if it's not for um, the voice readers, audience, listeners. Um, we'll catch up. We'll be following what Live Connections and, and Meji Alabi are doing, especially Rantan as well. Um, so, yeah, wishing you all the best with that. And, uh, thanks a lot. Thanks, thanks a for lot. your time. No, I really appreciate it. Really appreciate okay. it. Bye for now.